Why does the 75th anniversary of the Empire Windrush matter? Well, the boat docked at Tilbury on the 21st of June 1948. This is often viewed as the start of a process in which migration from what were then the colonies uh, into Britain began to gather pace. But I would suggest actually it was simply one step in a much longer history, a 500 year history, in which Britain and other colonial powers effectively created the modern Caribbean placing it at the time brutally at the centre of the global economy, with plantation slavery and sugar production producing untold riches for plantocrats who were the masters of the universe of that very peculiar order, holding seats in Westminster while owning estates throughout the West Indies. Windrush is not really the beginning, it's an intermediate process in a much wider and longer historical story. The scale of wealth that was generated in the few hundred years before the Windrush docked at Tilbury was astonishing and it powered the development of many European countries. To compare it to today, you need to imagine all of the most powerful bankers in the world also owning all of the oil companies while also sitting directly in the Westminster Parliament making laws to sustain their interests. And then when it collapses, they are compensated to the tune of 40% of the treasury budget, which in today's money is over 400 billion, enough to buy 100 Manchester United's or fund four NHS's. Yet just 50 years after the end of the Seven Years' War, this entire order had decisively unraveled, but its legacies will arguably last forever. Windrush shows how British and Caribbean history are inextricably linked with each other, and indeed always have been, not so long ago, David Lammy, who could potentially be the next foreign secretary, uh, famously said in Parliament, I am here because you were there. And what he meant essentially is that the Caribbean in its contemporary form would not exist were it not for British colonialism. Um, and the people who stepped off the Empire Windrush in 1948, it's crucial to remember, were at the time British citizens and the places they came from were all British colonies. The Windrush scandal has not gone away. Many victims of this scandal were deported back to Caribbean countries, places where they hadn't stepped foot um, for many decades. A number of the families still haven't received compensation from the schemes that have been set up. Um, and quite a number of them have been left to die abroad. In some cases, they were denied the treatment that they were supposed to have. And this is still something that, to the shame of the British state, has not ever really been decisively resolved. Um, and we quite... Those are the reasons why I think Windrush really matters. It forces us to think about a much wider and bigger story about Britain's relationship with the Caribbean.